Hello, it's Chris at 37 Disney Street and we've got some breaking news for you. Uh, Lucy's not available to do this today and she normally would, so it's my turn and I, you join me here from the atrium in the Fletcher wing of 37 Disney Street. Now, basically, what happened was yesterday, President Macron announced that they're introducing a health card in France. And this is going to be something that is mandatory for anybody visiting a, uh, an event with 50 people or a cultural location where there are 50 people or more gathering. What this basically means is that in order to be able to go to these places, you will have to have either a, a negative PCR for the last 72 hours, or you need to be double jabbed and be able to prove that you're double jabbed with this health card. No problem at all, because in the UK, we've got the NHS certificate, and that is seen as legal currency in this situation, a shining light at last. So if you've been double jabbed, you can take that app with you, and that's gonna be all the evidence that you need. And if you're not double jabbed, you take the app with you, you've got proof of your negative PCR test, then that's gonna be fine for you for the next three days. So that's probably where the problem comes in, because if you are there for, I don't know, four, five, six days, you're going to need a PCR test for those days as well. So which means you're gonna to have to go and get PCR tests continually throughout your holiday, particularly if you're planning on holidaying in France and you're only visiting somewhere like DLP at a certain point in time. The other thing to consider is if you do have a positive test, you then need a two week uh, grace period. You need to have been free for two weeks and have your 72 hour PCR check as well. So you need to be able to prove that you do not have COVID and you haven't had it for two weeks. And from what I understand, that applies to everywhere. Now I was speaking to a friend of mine today in Switzerland and uh, she was saying that they're planning a holiday to France in the next few weeks. They've got friends who are over there at the moment with their families. And they're a little bit concerned because Having a, a 72 hour PCR test before you go, no problem at all. But as soon as you get midway through your holiday, um, you don't have that test that's valid anymore, which means you need to get another one and you have to pay for that and you have to schedule it and wait for the result to come through. So there's a lot to think about if you're planning your holiday to France in the next few weeks, if you're planning on going abroad uh, in August, uh, and staying in Paris, and particularly if you're going to Disneyland Paris, you need to make sure you have these things in place. So that's all the information that I have at the moment. DLP have effectively said that they're continuing with uh, things as they are at the moment, and they will follow government guidance and adjust their policies and procedures accordingly. So we can fully expect this to be adopted, I think. We'll talk about this a bit more on Sunday, no doubt, and Lucy will probably give you more facts than I'm able to give you at the moment. Uh, but for now, that's it. Breaking news.